Hello and welcome to uh, the video on diffusion, uh, both symbol diffusion and facilitated diffusion. So these are all passive um, processes. So like I've said, they're both passive, which means they do not require ATP. So there's no ATP required for either of them. And this is because um, diffusion happens for the simple simple diffusion. It's because of our concentration gradient. So here we can see that we've got a higher concentration. There's more more of these um, particles. There's a higher concentration here um, compared to here. So that creates a concentration gradient. So we can say that simple diffusion is the movement of particles from an area of higher concentration of that molecule to an area of lower concentration across a partially permeable membrane. And it doesn't require ATP. So I've just demonstrated this here. Um, as you can see, these are this is the phospholipid bilayer, and we've got um, these molecules here and here, and they're just diffusing straight through the membrane. And this would be for small nonpolar molecules. Um, these are the kind that can just diffuse straight through um, the bilayer because they're not charged, so they will not interact with the hydrophobic regions of the phospholipids. Um, and they can just diffuse through the gaps, so they're small. Um, these might be, for example, a lipid soluble hormone. It's an example of what that might be. Or carbon dioxide, again it's a small molecule and could just diffuse straight through. And um, so I just put if it's lipid soluble it won't interact with any of those regions that we've talked about. Um, and we've got quite a few different um, factors that can affect the rate of diffusion. Um, simple diffusion that is. Um, we've got, first of all, we've got temperature, as with most things, is affected by temperature. Um, so as the temperature increases, the molecules have more kinetic energy, um, so the rate of diffusion will increase. So we've got, as increased temperature, we've got more kinetic energy, which, as you can imagine, um, particles are going to be moving around more, they're going to be moving in all kinds of directions and um, colliding with each other and causing uh, more movement which is going to increase the rate of diffusion. Um, and on the other hand, if we decrease the temperature, we'd decrease the rate of diffusion. Um, another factor is the diffusion, the distance. So our diffusion distance, so if this, um, this is a relatively sh small, but if it was a lot a longer distance, then it would, t it would be a slower rate of diffusion. Um, so the thicker the membrane across which the molecule have to diffuse, the slower the rate will be. Thicker membrane, a be slower rate of diffusion. And um, we've got surface area to volume ratio. So if we have um, a larger surface area, more diffusion can take place. Um, so cells specialise for absorption have extensions um, to the cell surface membranes called microvilli. Um, um, or alveoli, for example, in the lungs, increasing the surface area will increase um, the rate of diffusion. Um, we've got the 
concentration gradient so if we had a greater concentration gradient then the rate of diffusion would be um, quicker so if we've got quite a big difference between the higher concentration area and the lower concentration area then the rate of diffusion would be quicker um, so or we could say steeper um, so we've got another factor being the size of the diffusing molecule so smaller ions or molecules will diffuse more rapidly um, through the membrane so size of molecule there we are and that's the main factors that will affect simple diffusion and it's also important to remember that there will be movement um, in all directions so these particles aren't just moving this way they will be moving some will be moving that way as well but the overall movement the what we call the the net movement is from a higher concentration to a lower concentration and then if we're looking at facilitated diffusion this would be for charged or larger um, molecules so 